Hey, it's Andrew, one of the Brothers of Bargains here from Ride Time, and today we're gonna to talk about why the end of the year is actually the best time to buy a vehicle. Today's presentation, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at what the lender guidelines are. We're gonna then do a price comparison. From there, I'm gonna talk about some interest rate risk that we have coming up on the horizon. And finally, we're gonna look at the overall market conditions. So lender guidelines, a lot of the lenders, they will actually do things based upon terms. So what year of the vehicle will dictate what term of the vehicle that you can get. All of these basically have to do with the model year of the vehicle. So as you can see on this spreadsheet, we have some of the short codes for some of the lenders we deal with. So for example, Royal Bank, TD, General Bank, Santander, you know, all of these are lenders that we deal with and they all have rules in terms of how long you can borrow the money over based upon the year of the vehicle. So for example, in 2017, we'll get 72 months. There are some lenders that will look at age and mileage. So for example, in 2017, with 90,000 kilometers will be different than a 2017 with 180,000 kilometers. In normal times, what you will find is you will find that vehicles depreciate. And on average, they'll depreciate about 15% per year. Now that doesn't happen all at once. It doesn't, you know, tomorrow the vehicle isn't worth 15% less. You know, day by day over the year, it will depreciate 15%. So you take advantage of the depreciation still getting access to that term. But the problem that you have as we've seen, lenders base terms based upon model year. So when we're ringing in the new year, lenders automatically switch the model year over, meaning that 2017, for example, did get 72 months, now it only gets 60 months. So I'm gonna use that as an example in our next one. So what we wanna do is we wanna do a payment comparison. Now listed here is our 2017 Chevy Malibu. It's listed at $22,000. An example, if we finance that vehicle today or until the end of the year, that vehicle with most lenders would qualify for 72 months. Given an average interest rate of the 8.99%, your payment would be $446 per month on that car. January 1st, when that vehicle in the bank's eyes get one model year older, that vehicle with most lenders will only qualify for 60 months. Nothing really has changed. That vehicle went from December 31st to January 1st. The price is the same, but your payment, as you can see here, is almost $70 a month more. The other thing that we're gonna talk about is interest rate risk. So the Bank of Canada has said they are not gonna stop raising interest rates until we get inflation under control. Inflation is still near 7% in Canada, so the rate today is gonna be lower than the rate that we're gonna get next year. Now, if we're looking at current market conditions, we also have a credit tightening risk. So a lot of analysts view that 2023, the credit market is gonna be a lot harder than it is today. So their banks are not gonna lend money as easily next year as they do now. And lastly, what we find is lower priced vehicles are gonna be harder to find next year. So again, the whole reason why we have inflation, why interest rates are going up, things are getting more expensive. Affordability is one of the biggest concerns that all Canadians have right now. And we understand that, and that's why we're trying to find vehicles that, that fit everyone's payment. But here's the problem. As everyone lowers their payment of what they wanna pay, you're gonna have more people at that bottom end of the market. Well, you can only go so old or have so many kilometers before that vehicle's not eligible for financing. So those lower end vehicles in the market are gonna be more desirable. We're gonna have more people looking for them and less of them available. The only thing that's gonna change is the term of that vehicle. So to wrap it up in a little tiny bow, if you have any questions about financing, please reach out to me or any one of our team members. Again, my name's Andrew, one of the Brothers of Bargains from Ride Time, and at Ride Time, we have your ticket to ride.